No cyclone dust collector, no problem. I'm going to talk about my experiment with reducing fine dust and noise in my workshop. But first, let's talk a little bit about dust. Fine dust, specifically particles from 1 to 2.5 microns, are really bad for your health and can cause lung cancer. I've got a cheap 3 horsepower grizzly dust collector, and the problem with these systems is that they filter down only to about 2.5 microns. So the exact worst dust particle size for you is being put back into the air for you to breathe. Canister style filters can get down to one micron, but they tend to clog up and have reduced performance. Two stage cyclone dust collectors cause most of the dust to drop down into the bag and can filter out 99.9% .9 of the dust down to 0.2 microns. I have no doubt that a cyclone dust collector is better, but I'm gonna try to make do with what I already have. I feel like the best solution is to have your dust collector outside and to filter and vent outdoors. That way all the dust goes away. And this is what I did in my old workshop in the Santa Cruz Mountains of California. But that's a temperate climate where it's fairly warm year round. I now live near Lake Tahoe and it gets really cold in the winter and I would just be venting all my warm air outside. I obviously don't wanna do that. So my solution is to build a closet around the dust collector and to filter out the fine dust with a typical home household filter. So these filters aren't as good as a HEPA filter on a cyclone, but they can filter out 95% of the dust down to about 0.3 microns if you get some of the best ones. Now that doesn't seem that good, but these typical overhead filters like this jet here can typically filter down to one micron. So it shouldn't be any worse than those. So I had two goals with my dust collection closet. And the first was to reduce the fine dust, but the secondary is to reduce the overall noise to hopefully help me have my hearing last a little bit longer. My other goal was to build it as cheaply as I could, and I milled a lot of the wood myself from dead trees in my property and spent about $100 in insulation. I started by framing a basic wall using my pneumatic nailer. I framed up a small box around where the filter would be, I got the filter from one of the big box stores and the thing to do is to buy the most expensive one that can filter the finest particles. I was going to make plans, but I decided to just build things ad hoc around the dust collector. I spent about half a day milling wood and I produced actual two by fours and some actual four by fours. Some of my lumber I had to resaw a bit to get down to the dimensions that I wanted. As I was starting to build the walls, I realized I could actually make the top strong enough to walk on and also gain some extra storage areas. The doors are simply framed and inset about an eighth of an inch on each side. I planed some of my one inch rough sawn lumber down to three quarters of an inch and used that for the outside of the doors. I just ad hoc nailed it on using some spacers on the doors to ensure they're in the right spot. Once I had a few of them on, I could start adding some hinges. So I added the top hinge first and then proceeded working my way down the door with the rest of the wood. For the ceiling and roof, I milled some two inch rough sawn lumber to about 10 inches wide. The amount of planing that I did for this project filled up uh, two entire bags of dust and chips. The framing nail gun made the project go pretty fast and I wish I would have bought one of these a long time ago I tend to have carpal tunnel issues when I hammer a lot, and the gun really helps me a lot with my wrist not hurting. I had a few pieces of three quarter inch plywood and half inch plywood that I put on the side. I removed the switch from my dust collector and disassembled it so I could drill a small hole through the plywood and run the wiring through it so the switch would be outside of the closet. My switch then goes into a remote IR switch that I can control from anywhere in the shop. I need a way to have the filter stay in this little square and so I just ripped some one inch pieces and screwed them into the uh, inside of the framing area. I then attached a little block on the top and that way I could slip the filter in and up and to hold it in completely I just put a screw in. My doors themselves were a little gappy in the front, and so I just put a strip on the front of that to hopefully 
have less dust escape. Now, one of my secondary goals was to reduce the sound level when the dust collector is running. I decided to use some foam insulation to do this. This is two inch foam insulation from Home Depot. It costs about $50 a sheet. I used two sheets for about $100, and that was the only thing I actually bought for this project. I had a few gaps that I had to fill up, and I used caulking on the fine gaps, and on anything that was thicker than what I could do with caulking, I just used some spray foam insulation. So it's a lot quieter in my shop now. I built the closet, and even if I get a cyclone dust collector in the future, I probably will still put it in a closet because it will just make it quieter, and I think that's a lot better. Now for the test of is it actually reducing more dust, I won't know for a while. I need to use the shop for a while and see if I get a lot of dust buildup everywhere in the shop. So first I'm gonna clean up all the dust, and I'll report back later and see uh, how, how dust free the shop is. Now I do do some cuts without any dust collection and particularly on the CNC machine for deep carvings and it produces a lot of fine dust in the finishing pass and I just don't have a good way to get rid of that dust so I'm not going to totally eliminate it and I will have to wear a dust mask for certain operations. But this should be a huge improvement. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.